In today's note taking, you will need a ruler, a pencil, and an eraser. I also included a Sharpie just so that you could see and, I, and identify uh, the vocabulary for today's lesson. In the top left hand corner, you're going to be drawing a cube above the horizon line. Once the cube is drawn, you're going to be taking three of the four points to the vanishing point. These are called guiding lines. The reason you don't take the top left hand point to the vanishing point is because it cuts itself through the cube. The lines that are directed towards the vanishing point are called guiding lines. The line the vanishing point is on is called the horizon line. The vanishing point can move within the space of the horizon line, but never above or below. When you draw a cube above the horizon line, you see the side of the cube and underneath of the cube. Once that cube is drawn, you're gonna draw another cube on the horizon line. With this cube, you're gonna take two of the four points to the vanishing point and you will see the side of the cube, not above or below, only the side. Once the cubes are made, you generally erase the guiding lines, but because this is for note-taking, I'm gonna leave them there so that you can visually see and identify the vocabulary word that goes along with the technique. The cube on the horizon line is considered to be at eye level. Finally, you're gonna draw your third and final cube below the horizon line. Take the three of the four vanish points to the vanishing point and because of its placement below the horizon line, you're going to see the side and the top of the cube. 